Hello everyone, so welcome back to today's video and welcome back to the channel. And today's procedure is catheterization. It is a sterile procedure and also a trolley procedure. So at our top trolley, we have a bowl of swab and it's containing gauze swab and um, cotton wool. We have a receiver for glove, containing glove, a bowl of cleaning lotion. It could be the toy. And it should be in the ratio of 1 to 49. Then a bowl containing three sterile towel and a pair of gloves. A receiver containing a catheter, two catheter depending on the size of the patient. A gallipot for lubricant, e.g. liquid paraffin. Then a receiver for urine. One liter measure jug also. Then for a bottom trolley, we need a tray containing a specimen bottle and yeah, a specimen bottle for laboratory use, a receiver containing um the toy cream, another receiver for used swab, another receiver for used catheter, then a dressing marking torch. Then also I put this. Um, urine bag so that we can connect it and show you guys how to do that so for the procedure proper we have to explain procedure to patient and also introduce ourselves get informed consent from the patient and just make sure patient understands what we are about to carry out so the second thing we'll do is to ensure privacy but i won't be doing that because this is a video then we take trolley to patient's bedside. We will also need to arrange bed clothes as far as the bottom of the bed. We would leave patients covered and just expose the area we need for catheterization, which is the pelvic area you already know. So we will place patients in a dorsal position with knee flexed in a female patient. So when it's a female patient, we will flex the knee. We also need to wash our hands. So after washing your hands, you take your dressing marking torch and you put under the patient's body. So after putting our dressing marking torch, remember I said it's a sterile procedure. We will wear a glove. We we'll first wear a glove. Then we are going to okay wear or don your glove. Then we are going to take our sterile towel. For us here, yeah, our sterile towel are those green towel. We we'll take it and drape the patient. Just like you would drape a patient for surgery, you will also drape the patient to maintain a sterile feud. So that is what I am just doing. I am creating a sterile feud. So guys, while we are doing this procedure, the purpose is to empty bladder when there is retention of urine. To maintain an empty bladder before pelvic operation to obtain sterile specimen for laboratory investigations and to keep incontinent patients dry e.g unconscious patients or people with um, paralysis so the next thing we are going to do is to take our sterile gauze We'll take one sterile gauze, which we will use to hold the penis. Then we will take another sterile gauze and we will dip it into our lotion, our cleaning lotion. We'll dip it into it. Then we will squeeze out the excess before using it to clean the glands penis of the patient. So... Just as how I held the penis of um, Mr. Jones, that's how you are going to hold the penis and, you know, expose 
the part where you want to use so that you can properly clean it so you clean the glass pennies when you clean once you discard that swab you clean again just clean until it is you know okay until it's fine you clean and discard clean and discard that is how you are going to clean then after that you are going to take your catheter and also take your lubricant then it is very different from how you would do it in a female patient watch out for um, catheterization in a female patient but I'm going to use my lubricant my lubricant here is Vaseline I'll take my lubricant and lubricate the tip of the Foley catheter I will lubricate it and I would gradually insert it into the um, urethral orifice of my patient I will gradually and slowly so you insert it until urine begins to come out that is when you will know that it's already in the urethra so if you want to obtain a urine specimen this is you know when to obtain the urine specimen but if not you would withdraw 10 ml of um, sterile water you withdraw 10 ml of sterile water and put please concentrate on the part we are putting it if you're using a foley catheter it has to hold one to put water for to keep the catheter patent or patent so permit me let me use patent to just keep the catheter in place so that even if patient begins to roll or do anything the catheter will not pull out from the penis so you make sure it's 10 mil put 10 mil and it stays so after that you take your urine bag you can strap it at the bedside then take just as i'm doing you take the urine bag and connect it to the ureter also you can see that the place i put the sterile water is different from the place i also inserted the urine bag so guys that is just it it is simple as that after doing all of that you make your patient comfortable so thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel please guys you all should subscribe to the channel and at least give me an encouragement encourage me by subscribing so thank you all see you in my next video bye guys